If you have $100,000 invested right now, you're not 10% of the way to a million dollars. You're actually 25% of the way there. Before you close this video thinking it's clickbait, I'm about to prove this mathematically with real numbers that will fundamentally change how you approach building wealth. This isn't motivational fluff. This is cold, hard mathematical reality that most investors never understand. And it's why so many quit investing right before the magic happens. The first $100,000 is soul-crushingly difficult. But once you hit that number, something extraordinary happens. The timeline completely collapses. When you combine this principle with the right dividend ETFs, the acceleration becomes even more dramatic. Today, I'm revealing exactly which funds can supercharge this effect. Quick disclaimer. These calculations are based on historical averages. Actual returns vary, and this is educational content, not personalized financial advice. Here's what I'm revealing. The mathematical proof that 100K equals 25% of your journey, four specific dividend ETFs that accelerate this timeline, and the exact breakdown that will reshape your investment strategy. Let's start with Harry. Harry's 35 and wants a million dollar investment portfolio. He invests $10,000 yearly, assuming 7% returns, slightly below historical averages. After 7.84 years of religiously investing, Harry hits $100,000. Instead of celebrating, he felt crushed. 7.84 years for just 100K. I need $900,000 more. That's nine times what I have. Another 70 years. I'll be dead before I'm a millionaire. This is where Harry made the critical error 99% of investors make. He assumed wealth building was linear, that each $100,000 takes the same time. But wealth builds exponentially, not linearly. Here's the actual math. First $100,000, 7.84 years. Second $100,000, 5.37 years. Third $100,000, 4.17 years. Fourth $100,000, 3.35 years, fifth $100,000, 2.78 years. Each milestone comes faster. By the time Harry reaches $900,000, that final $100,000 takes just 1.35 years. The last 100K takes six times less time than the first. Total timeline to 1 million, 30.73 years. That first 100K taking 7.84 years, that's 25.5% of the journey. This is how compound interest actually works. Your money makes money, then that money makes money. A tiny snowball becomes an avalanche. But what if you could accelerate this further? Enter dividend investing. Double compounding in action. Let me introduce FDRR, Fidelity Dividend ETF for rising rates. Over five years, FDRR delivered 105.58% total return. Your money more than doubled. While doubling, it pays a 2.48% dividend yield. Cash hitting your account quarterly. The dividend growth rate? An impressive 29.36% over 12 months. Your cash payments growing 30% year over year. When Harry discovered this, he realized those quarterly dividends buy more shares. More shares mean bigger payments. Bigger payments buy more shares. Compound interest with a turbocharger. Expense ratio, just 0.16%. Assets. Under management, $614.86 million. This isn't some tiny fund that might disappear, but FDRR isn't even the top performer. FDVV, Fidelity. High dividend ETF, crushed it with 132.72% five-year return. Harry's money would be worth 2.3 times more today. Yield, 2.97%, nearly 3% cash back annually. On $100,000, that's $2,970 yearly, or $742.5 quarterly. With $6.91 billion in assets, this has institutional level confidence. Dividend growth rate, 22.04% trailing 12 months. Your income stream growing 20% annually while principal appreciates. With FDVV's performance, Harry's first $100,000 arrives in approximately six years instead of 
nearly two years shaved off. Now for the steady performer. SCHD, Schwab U.S. Dividend Equity ETF. One-year return, just 0.24%, basically flat. But zoom out, five-year return, 72.69%. SCHD has the lowest expense ratio at 0.06%, almost free. More money compounds. Dividend yield, 3.75%. They've grown dividends for 13 consecutive years. Through 2008's aftermath, COVID, inflation spikes. Five-year dividend growth, 10.87% annually. Double-digit income growth like clockwork. With $71.38 billion in assets, SCHD is massive. Harry learned something crucial. Wealth building isn't about finding Tesla. It's about boring consistency compounding over decades. $100,000 in SCHD generates $3,750 annually. That's $937.5 quarterly. Harry reinvested every penny. Dividends bought shares. Shares generated bigger dividends. The cycle accelerated. Now the yield monster, SPYD, SPDR portfolio. S&P 500 High Dividend ETF. Massive 4.34% yield. On $100,000, that's $4,340 annually. Five-year return, 94.51%. Expense ratio, 0.07%. Here's what Harry discovered about combining these ETFs. If he split his portfolio equally, average yield, 3.39%. Average five-year return, 101.63% average expense, 0.11%. Money doubles every five years while paying 3.39% cash. Let's see how this transforms the timeline. Original timeline, 7% returns, no dividends. First 108, 7.84 years. Total to $1 million, 30.73 years. With dividend portfolio, 10% returns conservatively, First 100K, 6.08 years. Total to $1 million, 23.42 years. Seven years shaved off. Seven years of additional compounding. Seven years earlier, financial independence. Here's where it gets wild. Dividend payments are real cash strategically deployed. By year 10, Harry's $235,000 portfolio generates $8,000 annually in dividends. That's $667 monthly in passive income streams. By year 15, with $440,000, dividends reach $15,000 annually. $1,250 monthly without touching principal. Harry realized the goal isn't a million dollars, it's the income that million generates. With 3.39% yield, a million produces $33,900 annually. That's $2,825 monthly passive income. But you don't need a million to start living off dividends. At $500,000 with 3.39% yield, $16,950 annually. That covers your mortgage or allows part-time work. Each $100,000 milestone gets easier and produces more income multiple compounding effects. Harry's optimal allocation became 35% FDVV for growth, 132.72% five-year return, 35% SCHD for reliable income, 3.75% yield, 13-year increases, 20% SPYD for yield, 4.34%, 10% FDRR for rising rates, 105.58% return, 29.36% dividend growth. This balances growth, income, stability. Weighted yield, approximately 3.4%. Historical five-year average exceeds 100%. Remember about asset allocation. The best portfolio is one you won't abandon. If SCHD being flat makes you panic, reduce that position. If FDVV's volatility causes stress, lower allocation. The math only works if you stay invested long enough for compounding to work. Here's what Harry wishes he knew at 25. Every dollar invested in your 20s becomes $10 in your 60s. 
That's compound interest over 40 years. $1,000 invested at 25 with 7% returns becomes $14,974 at 65. $1,000 invested at 45 becomes just $3,869 at 65. Time is the secret ingredient. The first $100,000 feels impossible because you're using one engine, contributions. After 100K, you have three engines. Your contributions continue. Principal appreciates. Dividends compound. This triple engine effect explains why the last 100K takes 1.35 years while the first takes 7.84. The exact mathematical proof. At 7% returns, $10,000 annual contributions. $0 to 100K is equal to 7.84 years, 25.5% of total. 100K to 200K is equal to 5.37 years. 200K to 300K is equal to 4.17 years. 300K to 400K is equal to 3.35 years. 400K to 500K is equal to 2.78 years. 500K to 600K is equal to 2.33 years. 600K to 700K is equal to 1.98 years. 700K to 800K is equal to 1.69 years. 800K to 900K is equal to 1.46 years. 900K to $1 million is equal to 1.35 years. Total, 30.73 years. This isn't theory, it's mathematical fact. Your first 100K represents one quarter of your million dollar journey in time, not dollars. Harry's now 45 with $400,000 invested. He'll hit 1 million before 55, not through luck or genius picks. But through understanding one truth, compound interest accelerates exponentially. The hardest money you'll ever make is your first 100K. Everything after gets progressively easier. The question isn't whether this works, the math is indisputable. The question is whether you'll start now or wish you had in 10 years. With these specific ETFs, FDRR's 105.58% return, FDVV's 132.72% surge, SCHD's reliable 3.75% yield, and SPYD's massive 4.34% payout, the snowball effect becomes even more powerful. Your retirement, savings don't have to crawl. They can compound exponentially. Your financial planning doesn't need complexity, just time and the right vehicles. Think about it this way. If you're 30 with $50,000 invested, you're already halfway to being 25% done. If you're 40 with $100,000, you've completed the hardest quarter. If you're 50 with $300,000, you're closer to a million than someone starting at 30. The mathematics of money management favor patience over brilliance, consistency over complexity, time over timing. Harry's journey proves that understanding this one principle, that 100K is 25% of the way to a million, changes everything about how you approach investing. Stop thinking linearly. Start thinking exponentially. Your wealth isn't building like stairs. It's building like a snowball rolling downhill. And with dividend ETFs paying you to wait, that snowball gathers snow even faster. The choice is yours. The math is certain. The snowball is waiting.